This video will show you how to use the Zotero plugin for Microsoft Word. This plugin gives you the ability to insert and format citations in a Word document with a few simple steps. The plugin should have been automatically added to Word when you installed Zotero. If it did not, please ask a librarian for assistance. To get started, make sure that you have both Zotero and Microsoft Word open. When you are ready to insert a citation, click on the Zotero tab and then click on the place in your document where the citation should go. Next, click the Add Edit Citation button. If this is the first time that you are using the Zotero plugin, you may get a warning message asking you if it's safe for Zotero to access data in your Microsoft Word document. If that happens, just click the OK button. The Zotero Document Preferences page should now open. Select the citation style that you want to use for this document, but leave the other options, such as the language, at their default settings. Then, click the OK button. The Zotero Citation dialog box will pop up. Type in a word from the title, or an author's name, or anything else that appears in the reference you want to cite. As you type, all the items matching your terms will appear. Click on the reference you want to use and then press the Enter key on your keyboard. The new reference should appear in your document highlighted in gray. The gray box indicates that this text was automatically generated by Zotero. If you need to insert more than one reference, simply type in a search term, select the first reference you want to cite, and then type in another search term and select the second reference and so on. After you've loaded up all the references you want to cite, press the Enter key on your keyboard. There is another way to select and insert references. First, click the Add Edit Citation button, but instead of typing in the Citation dialog box, click the little down arrow on the red Z, and then click on the Classic View option. This option allows you to view all of your folders as they appear in Zotero, which can be helpful when trying to find a specific reference. Navigate to the reference you want to use and click to select it, then click the OK button. There may be times when you need to add extra information to a reference. In APA, for example, you should add a page number if you include a direct quote in your text. Zotero can help you with that. Simply search for the reference as you normally would, but before you press the Enter key on your keyboard, right-click on the reference and enter in the desired information then press the Enter key. In this example, we'll add a page number. As previously mentioned, the gray box indicates that Zotero automatically generated that text. If you discover that there is a mistake, do not correct it in the Word document. If you do, Zotero will automatically revert back to the original text the next time it refreshes the page. The correct thing to do is to make the change in the original record in your Zotero library. The next time that Zotero refreshes your document, the changes should appear. To create a reference list for your paper, scroll down to the end of the document and type in the section title. Next, click the Add Edit Bibliography button. Zotero will then generate a reference list based on all the references you used in your paper. It's important to note, however, that Zotero isn't perfect you will still need to review the references that were created and make sure that they follow the requirements of the citation style you were using. In this example, we are using APA format, and I can see that there is one reference where the words in the title are capitalized, which is incorrect. To fix this, I'm going to go back to the record in Zotero and make the correction there. I could retype the title using lowercase letters, but instead I'm going to right-click on the title mouse over the Transform Text pop-up box, and click on Sentence Case. This will automatically change the letters in a title that I need to fix. When I toggle back to my Word document and refresh the page, the changes will now appear. Remember, citation styles have different rules. This was just an example using APA. Zotero will do its best to correctly format your citations according to the style you select, but ultimately it's your responsibility to make sure that they are correct. If you need assistance with citing sources or with using the Zotero for Microsoft Word plugin,
please contact the library at dana.ubm.edu help ask. A librarian will be happy to assist you.